So as we pick up our divine assignments here, let us remember that these divine assignments, that they won't always be easy. And we learn that from the Bible. And uh, I guess even though they won't be easy, it is nice to know that we have an awesome God. His name is the Holy Spirit. And he partners with us in this mission, that he partners with us, that he walks, in, he walks alongside us, that he lives in our hearts, and that this Holy Spirit, this gift from God, is with us even when it's hard, even when it seems foggy. You see, Saul, even though he was not fit to be king, was not anywhere near Samuel's dreams of what he wanted for a king. He was the king of Samuel's life. He had a king and his name was Saul. And even though Saul was awful, he still mourned because he knew that he had to take that king off of his life. And I think that there's something for us to know that the Lord gives us an awesome king. And we know his name, his name is Jesus. That the Lord has given us this awesome king in Jesus. We need to make sure that we're not like um, Samuel here, who's mourning when we take away a king that is not fit to be the king in our life. And oftentimes when we are mourning, it's because the king of our life didn't live up to what we wanted him to be or what we wanted it to be. What are we making the king in our life? And we should be, and we should remember the question from the Lord to Samuel. How long will you mourn? Let that king go. God knows our hearts. He knows our strengths and our weaknesses. He, know, he knit us together. I, I think it's awesome that we talk about like our gifts and our strengths. But even our weaknesses, that those are God-given. And that in our weaknesses, we are reminded and we remember that, that our weaknesses are just little reminders for how much we need Jesus and how much we need to come and meet with Jesus. That these weaknesses are in themselves gifts from God. And uh, if you are struggling with your outward appearance, um, I know what that's like. Please remember that the Lord looks at your heart. And also remember that God is giving you that body to do awesome things with. That your body can sing and dance can pray, can hug, and that it's very valuable and that your body is an awesome, awesome tool for God. So get up off of that thing. God sees the littlest son working with the littlest animal out in the littlest town of Bethlehem and calls him. David was being trained to be a king by looking after a lamb. What are you being trained for? <laughs>